So Sadis Factory Update 8 has finally landed as of June 13th, and it takes our factory looking like this to this. Yes, it is real, and I am in my, like, starter factory, and oh boy, is my jaw on the floor right now. This is truly insane. I never thought if you would have told me a few months ago, my factory would look like this. We can see the lights coming down. We can see the signs are now emitting, like, light. The reflections and just it just looks so so nice so let's look down this hallway right now we can see lumen is currently turned off and this is what it looks like with it on we can see the reflections you can see the nice light coming in from the window at the end of the corridor we can see the lights of the signs shining on the sides of the smelters and the lifts but not too much light is coming on the inside of these pillars right here because technically the only lights that's going to be shining on this is from this side. Well, we can see just what and how much different light can make in your factory. And yes, Lumin is unofficially supported within Satisfactory, uh, and it, but it's a, an option we can toggle within game. So before we go any further, you can go into the description and check my PC specs. But just to give you a bit of a TDR, I'm using a 4090 with a Ryzen 9 7950X with 64 gigabytes of DDR5. Just so you can get an understanding of what, what I'm using uh, to pull this kind of visuals for you guys off. And I'm, I'm averaging around 60 FPS. But you have to also take into consideration, I'm in a large factory right now with multiple, multiple items being rendered in. So take that into consideration when reflecting on the 60 FPS with the visuals we have as well. So let's take a look around the factory here and just explore without any altered um, things I've added from our previous look. So we can come down here, we can see it is quite dark and this is going to happen and it does kind of show us what we need to kind of need to add lights now into our factory and it's going to be something i will be doing moving forward and we can see just coming down here into the next part of the building it is super dark and yes what you're seeing on the video right now is what i'm seeing we can see that the even the lights on the door are actually giving off a little bit of they're emitting a little bit of light if we come down here obviously i've got a big hole in the wall so I'll just ignore that <laughs> but we come down here we can see the light coming down onto these machines Machines, but let's just take a step back here and this is what it looks like with globe uh, well with lumen turned on and this is what it's like with it off and you can see a big big difference you can see that all the dark the dark shadows where light is not being emitted to is well global illuminated but if we take this back into lumen now so let's kind of head the, in this direction and we're going to head over to my storage and just remember that we are on the experimental build so you will see visual bugs you might see some weird glitches happen that will happen and will get addressed by the development team but look at my storage because this is what it looks like with lumen on and this with it off and i've got to admit now i'm seeing one side to another side the old version makes everything look a little flat it look makes it look plastic and makes it look weird <laughs> so let's turn it back on because i don't think i cannot play with this off anymore so next up let's have a look at down here it's going to be pretty dark but as we can see all the belts do give off some form of light and all that depends on the size of the belt. So a Mark 1 belt has small lights on the side of it, where a Mark 5 belt has different lights. And we can kind of see when it comes down here. But I do have to admit, the fog in-game does emit some form of light. So what we're going to do is we're going to press Windows... Uh, sorry, Windows. We're going to press the tilde key, and we're going to pull up the search bar at the bottom, the command bar. I'm going to put in r.fog space zero. And we're going to take the fog off. And we can see now in the distance, it's a little darker, but I think it looks a lot, a lot better with the fog turned off. You can definitely see where lights are needed. And it does look like on the underfloor inside now, we need to look into some form of lighting. So let's go on the outside of the factory here. And the, the one thing you're going to be noticing is one, what is this big orange light? Well, that, that is light refracting off the sand and hitting the underneath of these foundations, giving off this orange glow. Because as we know, 
light bounces. Do I even want to know what you're doing? <laughs> <laughs> like even just walking down here and just seeing the light refracting off the off the sand here up on side of this bridge onto the orange pipes and making these areas darker it just looks it looks so nice and i'm not gonna lie i am really really impressed with how this looks and i'm just impressed <laughs> I've just come back underneath here and obviously I've got my torch on now, but there's something I want to kind of show you as well with what happens with Lumen. So if we pull out our belt here, we're going to go into our build menu. Uh, we're going to go into, uh, let's just say, uh, Conveyor Mark 5. And we can see that the actual um, build hologram now actually emits light as well whilst you're building. So we're just going to build this along here. And I'm going to quickly turn my torch off and you can see it actually emits light as well. So we're going to place this down. And here's the difference as well with the actual belts. We can see the belt emitting light onto the ground as well as these ones over here. So I'm going to show you another part of the factory, which is going to be this one over here. So if we just go down and go underground, you're going to notice it's a lot brighter here just because of the amount of conveyor belts emitting light. So the more conveyor belts you have, technically including spaghetti yes including spaghetti it does make uh, the area underground if you have a underflooring system um you know visible but if we were to move over here because we don't have different heights of belts you know it's not going to emit any form of light but obviously the higher the belt the more light spread towards the ground so when it comes to box buildings, obviously light's not going to get in there, but that's why you will need to put lights inside. And this is for those players who want to create more of an immersive uh, experience uh, whilst playing Satisfactory. If you want to, you just want to sit back and relax and you're not too worried about the aesthetics of lights and how your factory looks and all this kind of stuff. But if we go into here now, we can see the difference. Now that I've added one big ass sign <laughs> um but also we can you know open a thing here and we can introduce uh, uh some windows if we wanted to and we can play around with these and yeah these will allow light to come through so let's kind of just do these like that and we can see how the light shines through we can also uh change the windows to maybe something else so for example the honeycomb ones replace them to them and it'll look a little different and cast a different shadow. You know, I, I don't need to explain to you how shadows work and light works and all that kind of stuff. But you can see some form of aesthetic you can kind of do to just make some really nice screenshots and just to enjoy your playthrough on a different level. So the next thing is I've just got a truck here just shining light through here. And we can just see how that affects all the way through all of these machines and how it slowly fades away as it should throughout the factory as well. So the next thing I'm going to show you is what I've done here is I've just added some signs down here, which are just going to emit a green light throughout these in case you wanted to do or have any idea. But as you can tell, the further I get away, the further the light gets, you know, eliminated. The more signs in the area uh, is very much like the, the lights. Uh, the, it kind of creates like a fade on or like a motion kind of uh, effect so that's really what i wanted to kind of show you today was just how the lumen works and to be honest i think it's a great added feature and it works really really well as you can tell obviously this video is in 4k i've got to show you the best quality i possibly can um so then you guys um can you know see what you can get on your pc if you don't want to risk about going over to experimental or something to aim at in the future so without further ado remember that this is an experimental and obviously performance will increase over the next few months but the guys over at coffee stain are currently on vacation because it is summer break over there right now required by law uh which is kind of hilarious i thought only schools did that but that's around the world except sweden <laughs> but anyway much love i will see you in another video so keep smiling and check out my other content right here i'll see you in the next video